Welcome, my name is Darren Thomas. I'm the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're going to learn how to make a rubric for marking assignments in the assignment activity in, in Moodle. So as you can see, I'm in the Moodle homepage again, like always. But as you know, as I've already explained in a prior video, you don't begin in Moodle. You always begin with your objectives or what I like to give the term shopping list. So here are the goals. Here are the things that I want to do in Moodle today in my assignment activity. Of course, I want to give the assignment a name. This is at the top. I want to give it a description. I have to set up the submission date and the due date. I want to allow file submissions. I want to make the assignment worth 50 points. And lastly, I want to make a rubric. Um, this is what's new particularly in this video. And so I have a very simple, this really isn't much of a, a rubric, but this is for demonstration purposes. For my essay, I have two criteria for how the assignment will be, will be marked. One is for grammar and the other one is for content. And up to three points are possible, weak, moderate, and strong. So this is the new information that I'm going to include in my assignment in Moodle. I'm going to create this rubric. Now to do this, I go back to Moodle. And I've already set up most of the information for my assignment in order, in order to save time. And so I'm just going to do what's new. Here, um, under the grade section, I have points, of course. The maximum grade is 50 points because that was what I put in my objectives or my shopping list. But for grading method, we're going to do something different. The default for grading method is simple direct grading, but we're going to select rubric. And so I've completed all of the options that I need to for this assignment. In order to create the actual rubric, what I do next is I click Save and Display. And see, Moodle takes me to this page right here. I have two choices. I can define a new grading form from scratch or make a new rubric, or I can create a new grading form from a template. Most of the time, depending on your institution, there will probably be no templates available. You'll have to define one from, from scratch, which is what I'm going to pick. For your school and for your institution, it may be different. So I click define new grading form from scratch. I click on this. And Moodle takes me to the next page where I'm defining my rubric. So I have to give my rubric a name. So we're going to call this essay rubric. I don't have to put a description, so I'm going to skip that to save time. And now we get down to the important part. Here we have two important things you need to know. You have what we call add criterion. This is where you can add different rules or different criteria for grading the assignment. And then we have add level. This is if you want to allow more or less points in terms of how you mark it. So, for example, my first criteria is going to be grammar. And if you check my rubric right here, my criteria is grammar and I have three levels, weak, moderate, and strong. So I'm going to keep that criteria or I'm going to uh, keep those levels. So the first level is weak. I'm going to instead of make that, I'm going to make that zero points. The next level is moderate. And the final level is strong. If I wanted to add more levels, if I want to make it more points within this particular criteria, I would click add level right here. As you can see, I just added it. If I want to delete a level, I click on the X as so, and it'll give me a warning message and I'll say yes. Now, if you look closely at my example, I have two criteria. I have a grammar and a content. So I need to add one more criterion. To do that, I click right here. I type in my name, content, and I give each level a description and a point value. Weak, moderate, and strong. There, we are essentially done creating the rubric. So I have a very, very basic, simple rubric. Grammar and content are the two criterion, and they have the same number of levels. For advanced users, you can have it to where different criterion have different numbers of levels. For example, I can delete this. I can delete strong for content and now grammar is worth up to two points. However, content is now only worth up to one point because I deleted one level. But that gets kind of confusing for many people. So we're going to include this again. So it's back to normal. So there you have it. The rubric is created and now all I have to do is click save rubric and make it ready. I click here and the rubric is done. There you have it. So now when assignments start to come in, I will show you in a future video how you can use the rubric to actually mark assignments. 
But for this video, we're done. I would like to thank you for watching this video, and we will see you in the near future. Thank you.